The task force mandated to review the competency-based curriculum CBC has started to engage the public for the next two weeks. The 49-member team has kick-started its engagement in 10 counties. The team led by Rafael Munavo has spread out to different parts of the country. The task force is in Mombasa, where the Kenya Private School Association chairperson Dr. Elisha Mwango presented private school recommendations and views to the presidential task force that was mandated to review the curriculum. Accompanied by the Association County Assistant Secretary Rukia Abafai, Mwango asked the government to address grey areas in the CBC before its implementation. Kenya National Examination Council, Ikona Monopoly. We want a framework that will allow other players to come in. We want a proper legal framework to also examine the curriculum. They will give a diversity in that society. Parents too want the government to consider the post-COVID economic hardships as it considers to review CBC requirements. Tuataka elimu uwe bure, serikali ichukue jukumu la la kuakisha ya kuwa uh, tools ama vyombo vina vitajika katika masomo uh, iweze kubeba na itoe mzigo kwa mzazi. Wazazi wetu wanapitia changamoto sana haswa wakati huu mgumu wa wa, wa economy. Uh, tunapitia changamoto nyingi sana. Na waka, wazazi wamepoteza kazi wakati tumekuwa na COVID-19. Na sahi tunaishi katika post, post COVID. Hakuna aliefanya utafiti kutaka kujua je wazazi katika hali yao ya uchumi wanaendelea kivipi. I propose that for the new curriculum to be a success in capturing emerging issues, it must be continuously reviewed to ensure that it meets the requirements of preparing learners for the modern world. Technical University of Mombasa Vice-Chancellor Leila Abubakar said the task force is ready to learn and understand the difficulties that schools and parents are facing during the implementation of CBC. Ni kama kulikuwa na inadequate training vile tunavoyo tulivujionea sisi kule na katika vile tulivuona. Lakini shida kubwa pia ni infrastructure paka saa hii ya hiyo CBC au grade 6 ndio iko na changamoto katika hizo shule. Mimi zaidi ningetaka kuwashukuru uh, wakazi wa Mombasa County uh, kwa kujitokeza kwa wingi leo uh, kwa sababu huu uh, mnunguniko ambao ulikuwa wako sana kuhusu uh, huu mfumo wa elimu wamepata sasa wa, 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 fursa ya wao pia kuelezea zile changamoto ambazo wanaziona na tunayanakili mambo yote wanayoyasema na tutayatia kwenye report zetu na kuna watu pia wametuletea hizo memorandum zao uh, tunataka kuhakikishia kuwa kila wanachokisema pia tutakinakili na tutakitia kwenye report yetu Leila said each school has its own difficulties and the task force will come up with favorable recommendations for all changamoto ama challenges uh, ambazo ziko zina zinatafautiana kulingana na zile manake zile za chechea unakuta uh, wengi wameijua hii hii mfumo wa elimu na wameweza kutathmini ku, 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 vizuri sasa alafu kuna wale wa grade 1 mpaka grade 6 ukienda zile shule zile unakuta ndio pia wame, wameweza kufanya lakini ni kama ambao walimu pia hawajaielewa vizuri huu mfumo the team's next stop will be isiolo wajia and laikipia kind of stefano ebr tv